beautiful precious Libras. I'm just grabbing a deck here. We're going to get started for your daily. Okay, so we're going to check what's going on before Thanksgiving. I send some people already around you and these are going to be drawn after we finish our reading. These are possible conclusion cards. Thank you, spirit and angels. Thank you for being with us today. And any clarifiers will come from Mermaid. Okay, so we're going to get started. We're going to get started. I figured I was going to be late today, so welcome back to the channel. How are all of you? How's your family? How are your little ones? And what's the relationship to Libra? What's going on in the environment? I tried to knock hard, but <laughs> Spirit and Angels, will you come into the reading for Libra? Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the North Node. What is going on for them environmentally? The bottom of the deck is the Two of Cups. We're going to keep it, okay? Two of Cups and the Five of Wands. There's a little bit of conflict with love, maybe some unsurety I'm feeling right now. You see the clouds there and the men fighting in Stella's Tarot. It is the Five of Wands. Yep, just double checking because there's only three men here. Um, but we see with the Five of Wands, there's conflict going around the scenario of love. I feel like it's because you let go of a person in the past. This could be an X, okay, with the Two of Cups. All right, thank you. We have the Devil. Mm, maybe a toxic Thanksgiving or some fights. I feel like um, I feel like this has something to do with toxicity from the past. Just people who don't get along. Maybe Libra, you recognize this in your own family. We have Capricorn. Okay, next one is the Three of Swords. Some angst, maybe some Thanksgiving nerves, and maybe even someone here conflicting in your thoughts at this time. I feel like the Three of Swords is a little bit past today as it's coming in. What is going on in the environment? Thank you, Queen of Cups. A little bit more, please. Thank you. The Six of Cups, the Queen of Wands just shot out. And can I get a fourth? Can I get a fourth for today? The Three of Pentacles. The Three of Pentacles is interesting. It's coming in really soft and loving. This is the energy of people that are going to be good to you on Thanksgiving, okay? I feel like it's camaraderie coming together. The Three Pentacles are in the sweater of this jester. And I f he's setting up there. It's almost like a jack-in-the-box in this card. In Stella's Tarot, you have two different opposing energies. Let me show you real quick. We have the Three of Swords, which was caused from the past, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and you have this very loving Three of Pentacles in the current. Somebody sees that you have a lot to offer with the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Wands. I feel like this is your energy today, Libra, like taking a leap forward. There's a leopard jumping through that hoop. Um, it's very like carnival-like in Stella's, and there's also like very fairy tale like aspects to this deck. And we see the Queen of Cups is still holding a torch for what okay we have to ask for what let me grab a new deck let me get light seers going here can we see why the six of cups and the queen of wands is in play today and don't forget your last two cards at the very end we are going to look at them as solutions okay we're going to look at those two mermaid tarot cards that we didn't turn over and i didn't see them I straight up promise you, uh, those are going to be possible solutions in this story today. So I decided to read a little different for you. Queen of Wands, Queen of Cups, the Queen of Pent, another queen shot out here as a clarifier. They understand that this person is definely unique in this situation on Thanksgiving. I think what's going to happen is a lot of these energies are going to surprise you as very, very loving with the Three of Pentacles here and the Queen of Pentacles. Look at this energy. It's very abundant. Sometimes it even goes back to the Queen of Pentacles as earned respect, okay? This might even be through dinner table conversation. I also see that this Capricorn is a leader or Libra. If you have some earth in your chart like Taurus and Virgo, they are included in this card. So I feel like it's almost being given back to you as that loving energy, Ace of Cups. Still the same thing here. This is a new love energy and we have to look at who it's coming from, okay? We have to see the magician is also here, Gemini, Virgo, straight up. And we have manifestation coming from you. People are going to be surprised how fast and nimble you think in December. And I'm getting that as a December message, not so much, you know, November's on its way out. We only have two more weeks until this flows on out. So the end of the month, you're going to find that there's something being shown to you daily, something that you have to do. It's like a billboard or when you walk to the grocery, there's a number that you must call or there's something on the side of even here an advertisement. It's just a part of a manifestation. You're looking for confirmation and you will get that confirmation. Okay. 
I just saw the numbers 454. That might mean something to you as that sentence rolled on, okay? We have the Six of Cups. How does it correlate to the Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups? Let's look at that. Can I see, is that new love? What's going on here with that relationship? Some rest, rejuvenation. You've taken a break from somebody, okay? Maybe a love instance here or someone who hasn't been giving you as much attention. Now with this, uh, Libras, we know how to draw the line. We draw the line in a certain space. And sometimes, because this is our card, the Four of Swords means rest for us. It's relaxation, it's mindfulness, it's taking a moment out of our day to take care of what's important. And I feel like you're doing that even today. Little parts of it when you're not cooking. Um, and today I got my brother's girlfriend, she called me and she was like, what are you making? You know, what part of the cuisine is yours? And I was like, I'm just the sides. Like I do the mashed potatoes, I do the baked beans, I do the green beans. <laughs> and so I was like, I don't do any of the manly stuff like the turkey, it's just, it's just too much. So I feel like you're taking your time here in the Four of Swords. It is a Libra energy. I think you're taking time to realize the next step of 2024 is going to take a lot of courage and a lot of might. And you might even need help. It's something about addressing, I can't do this alone. It's been all year that I've done everything alone. This can be a hermit as well in the Four of Swords. So I feel like it's time to get love back to this person. Okay, as you see, the heart is caressed in that nest next to her. Somebody needs to recognize this, okay? Um, and you do need to seek it out a little bit of yourself to find who the most helpful people are in your life, who's rooting for you. Again, this was mentioned in the 20th to 26th reading, who is really there as an ascertainable help. Okay, um, Six of Cups. Let's see the main cards for the Six of Cups. The Empress, shout out upright. I'm going to show you Uranus. Empress and Emperor, a divine pair. Are you kidding me? So I'm going to show you, Libra, the two main flippers are the Empress and the Emperor. This is so hard to draw out on just a regular day. If you're a reader, intuitive, if you're a seer, you have skills here where you constantly read for clients. This is so hard to do. There's a divine pair in your reading. Let's move over to the Witches and the Lovers. Look at that scratched up Lovers card from my kitty cat a couple of years ago, but that's okay. Let's check it out. I'm going to move the fire here. Just move it a little bit. It's very live when you do it in the afternoon. <laughs> There's just some components you can't, um, you got to keep under control. Like if I light something, I definitely have to have a cup of water here off to the side. There's a divine pair, somebody very intrigued with your beauty, someone coming in as an emperor very soon. They're all about, they're about chasing you, but it's very much about the romance that you think of when you're little, okay? So this emperor wants to do it the right way, and both of you are aligned with the lover's card even being here. That is clarified with Gemini, okay? A lot of manifestation with the magician and the lovers being here, and a lot of major arcana with the empress emperor too. Um, we didn't have any other majors. Let me check it out. The death card and the devil. So you have more than one here. There's about seven at play. There's a shift happening even on Thanksgiving, if that's clear to say. Let's clarify this missing you card. Six of cups, again, present in our reading. We definitely captured this in the 20th through the 26th reading. Major player with the six of cups, okay? And just like the chariot was red yesterday, red in color, you have the lovers in red, and these colors are social cues, environmental cues. This, this card is in red, and so is the six of cups. Take a moment to take a mental snapshot. There is a loving communication coming to be at play. This is either a new person that has feelings for you or if it's, it's an old person coming back for you. Excuse me there. So these red energies, could you please show me the truth of the Six of Cups and Lovers today? I feel like they're connected and they're red together. I feel like they're connected and they're red together. Also, you could be brought together spiritually because the Six of Cups is a soul contract. And it's also a new love coming in too that can be something divine, okay? This is brought together by longing. It's brought together by memories as well. Six of Cups, please. Can I get finite answers for the Six of Cups? Angels, we have two. Page of Cups and the Ten of Cups. Somebody realizes you're their wish fulfillment. They see you basically, Libra, you're the total package for this person. You are smart. You are amazing in the way that you portray yourself or the way that you dress yourself up. I feel like this person is physically enamored by you and you are their 10 of cups, if I can say, for them. 
okay? Uh, Page of Cups, they could be a little bit slightly younger than you with Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Why is this water energy, can I ask spirit angels and guides, why is this water energy burgeoning in our readings lately? Two cards. We have the tower, our very first tower in a very long time, Scorpionic, uh, destruction-based, and it's Mars. The tower brings in an aha moment, or it it lays a foundation to which needs to be built on strongly, right, Libras? The tower comes in usually to change a dynamic, sometimes destruction with that tower. It can be a surprising news. I feel like this is something that you're not expecting, Libras. It might even be Thanksgiving Day. The day itself is the channel I'm getting, and it's not so much today. I'm just being honest, okay? I feel like this is going to come in maybe even while you're cooking some meals here. There's going to be some type of connection to you with the tower. We have strength. Gather it up layer by layer with that cake that I keep talking about. It's that strength that's built up over time. Spirit's saying here to get your strength for this Ten of Cups tower, okay? What is the tower? Can I get some clarifying cards for the tower? Thank you. Big delivery. Big, big delivery. The tower is the fool, the queen of wands, and the page of swords. Somebody definitely attracted to you. They understand that they have to come toward you, okay? I feel like they could even be, you know, Libras, I'm getting that they could even be your age, not necessarily younger with the page of swords. It's somebody who's been spying. It's somebody who has an elemental cause to get closer, Okay, one more time. Elemental cause to get closer. Can I see the Page of Swords there attracted to the Queen of Wands, which showed up earlier too? I'm sorry I'm going fast here. I just feel the energy and I challenge, I, I challenge my channeling. I channel very fast too. Queen of Wands to the Page of Swords. The Empress. The Empress. Somebody sees that this quality is rather attractive. They don't want to let you slip away. You are one of a kind as the Empress. Those are the things that came to me because when the Empress shows up, and especially in our readings here, maybe throughout October and the high points of November, you've shown up as the Empress, my dear Libras. So they're not only attracted to something about you, but I think it's also about starting something anew with the Empress. Okay, let's clarify the Empress. Three cards. The nine of, is that the nine? Oh, four of swords. We have the queen of pentacles. So you are the queen of pentacles and the sun. You're a bright opportunity, okay? Um, also, I feel like this person feels challenged to come towards you. Like queen of wands and the sun is very intimidating, number one. It's a very beautiful person that causes happiness. And I feel like this person is very scared to activate this, all right? With the lover's card. They also feel like you've taken a long break for yourself, maybe even spent quiet months alone, or you just keep to yourself in the Four of Swords. You've had some type of emotional break for yourself. Okay, Empress and Emperors on the channel, let's see the Page of Swords. One more card to clarify this reading before we go to your two secret cards. It's about a coupleship, okay? And again, you're going to be hearing about it. It's contact so that you get together. It's contact so this person can get it rolling. This was why we saw the chariot in yesterday's reading. It's the whole why that comes a day later, okay? Your two cards for solution. You won't even believe what they turned out to be after shuffling. You won't believe it. It's the sun and the six of cups. It's somebody from the past. It's being clarified over and over again, uh, coming in as a new soul contract. I really feel this is a relationship that's going to last a long time, Libra. This is someone you're going to remember. Six of Cups and the Sun. It's a bright opportunity. It's someone from the past that has feelings for you, and they're coming in blazing hot. 1355 is also a number you should look up. It's a past person who views you as the Sun. Can I get... Can I get more clarifiers on that, please? Can I get a clarifier on that sun card? Thank you. The nine of wands. They're tired of being alone. You know, this is a wounded warrior. We saw her peeking from the deck yesterday. She was just peeking from the deck a little bit. And we see that this is someone who's tired of being alone. They're tired of being in the nine of wands, which is a wounded person ready for one more fight. And this is also a person who created resistance in the past because the nine of wands tends to be defensive. There is a very defensive side to this card. I want to leave you with this first message. We have another rapid roll for the holiday. We're going to do a video too here in a second. Thank you for joining me. And um, I send you my love for Thanksgiving. Bye bye, Libras.